Remember, down in Dallas, even Mr. Duncan's family, who lived with him and helped care for him, even they did not get Ebola. The only way you can get this disease is by coming into direct contact with the bodily fluids of someone with symptoms. That's the science. Those are the facts. Sadly, Mr. Duncan did not survive, and we continue to keep his family in our prayers. At the same time, it's important to remember that of the seven Americans treated so far for Ebola, the five who contracted it in West Africa, plus the two nurses from Dallas, all seven have survived. Let me say that again. Seven Americans treated, all seven survived. I've had two of them in the Oval Office. And now we're focused on making sure the patient in New York receives the best care as well. So here's the bottom line. Patients can beat this disease, and we can beat this disease. But we have to stay vigilant. We have to work together at every level, federal, state, and local. And we have to keep leading the global response, because the best way to stop this disease, the best way to keep Americans safe, is to stop it at its source in West Africa. And we have to be guided by the science. We have to be guided by the facts, not fear. Yesterday, New Yorkers showed us the way. They did what they do every day, jumping on buses, riding the subway, crowding in elevators, heading into work, gathering in parks. That spirit, that determination to carry on, is part of what makes New York one of the great cities in the world. And that's the spirit all of us can draw upon as Americans as we meet this challenge together.